Welcome back guys. This is session 5 related to AWS series. So last video we covered about uh, about that uh, some basic point. What is cloud? What is remote location? What is data centers? Okay, what is infrastructures? And alas, uh, so let me summarize quick suit out on this particular last video. Okay. So go inside that and just I need to show something to you. Okay, in the public online sessions we have World WS last class. Okay, this is the last class topic. So first we need to explain something. What is the data centers? So simply you can say data center is nothing but a, with, in a single room we have a multiple server then you can say this is the data center. Now come into the second. What is that uh, AWS provider? It's AWS a global infrastructure providers, right? AWS providing a service as a infrastructure, right? And what is the cloud? And okay, so tell me what is that cloud? So cloud is not uh, like in the sky is available, cloud itself in the earth is available, right? So you can say cloud is simply the remote location. So, so you can say the cloud is remote locations. Generally, you can say cloud is remote locations. So now they people ask to you, what is the remote location? So you can simply say the remote location is where the data centers are available, right? In the Mumbai, in the Mumbai, this is the remote location. So where the AWS data centers are available, clear to you. So now they ask to you, what are the data centers? Now you can say the data centers are available. Data centers are having uh, servers, right? Servers, data centers is having the servers. Like servers is like where, do, where we have a servers. Like in the technical term, we say the infrastructures. The data centers having the infrastructures, right? And infrastructures having servers, DBs, uh, networks, etc. A lot of things like VMs are there. So that is the meaning last class we have discussed. So those people are new to watching this video. So go and watch the last video, last four sessions. There I have discussed a lot more about these things about the AWS cloud provider. Now I think it's clear to you. And also you want notes related to these so you can just follow itsp technology it group which are available on the facebook just follow this page and send me the request i will i will approve that your request then you can access that your exposures so our exposure guys so simply say anyone now i think you got a clear picture about the cloud so cloud you cannot available in the sky okay cloud itself available in the earth so simply say cloud is the remote location where our data centers are available. So data centers having the infrastructures, infrastructures are having uh, nothing but the servers, network, VMs, AW, networks and database like that. Many more services are having. So simply you can say AWS a cloud service provider. What is that? AWS is the cloud service provider. What is that? Service is provider. Cloud means simply cloud in single remote location. Remote location is nothing but the data center. Data center is nothing but the infrastructure. Infrastructure having the services. All these topics are related to each other. So now we have uh, some AWS providers. Okay. That point is we have some what is that uh, more deployment model like we have a three deployments model uh, first one is the remote uh, not a remote private public and hybrid so now we can uh, easily understand what is about uh, public public is aws like that aws azure okay and uh, private is itself is the company is using like that organization itself is organization are using you can say that this is the private and hybrid is the they are using public and private both the sub both that deployment models like type of cloud then you can say this is the uh, public of hybrid so they are providing a service model also what is the service model 
So today's topic is only based on the service model, like infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. Generally, people call as ISAS pass SaaS. ICE pass SaaS. Don't call like this. Just call infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service. So don't waste. I'm not wasting your time. If you go and check our YouTube channel. There, this four video I think is available. The Google sign is has been new. I think it's dismissed. Google Wi-Fi yes, Why? What is happening? I don't know. Let okay. We I will use this some other parts okay so now here you can check our youtube video i think so okay maybe some issue in the my email id okay it's okay i will check that email id okay this video are watching in this channel okay it's okay fine so now let's come into our topics so our topics is uh uh, service model in AWS. We have a service model. So we have three service models. First is we are taking infrastructure as a service. Okay. We are taking just sure as a service. Okay. Let's decrease that size 18 is good okay okay infrastructure as a service okay infrastructure as a service so now tell me what is that infrastructure as a service infrastructure as a service so now that are people uh aws they start a service in the initial days only infrastructure as a service okay after that they are implementing platform as a service and uh, software as a service now initial days they are starting only one service infrastructure as a service okay only these cloud providers are providing infrastructure as a service so what is that meaning uh, infrastructure service they are providing only what is that networks like data centers and virtualization that's it and you can do everything by yourself you take care of all these things like application data os okay take care by you the user suppose okay so we'll just i'm preparing okay so now suppose this is our Okay. Oh, this is not good. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay, duplicate this. We have five to six layers. Just I'm preparing top of this, top of this, top of this, right? Okay. Now, suppose this is that user. This is user, user, user. I can have an user. Suppose yeah. this is the user. Okay. I need to explain all the point itself here. Okay. Okay. Now the in the infrastructure as a service, AWS providing what is that? Uh, network. 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 
और ऑल्सो इज कॉल्ड हार्डवेयर और ऑल्सो इज प्रोवाइडिंग कॉल डेटा सेंटर्स लाइक दिस इज द प्रोवाइडिंग दिस एंड नेक्स्ट थिंग इज दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग वर्चुअलाइजेशन virtualization right here in the infrastructure as a service the cloud is providing only these things okay customer is the responsible to create another thing now suppose you, you want to deploy one application you want to deploy one application so you need a one operating systems which operating system you want okay operating system which operating system you want to use it use that operating system like linux window ubuntu centos any any operating system you want you can use it okay not big deal okay type here and next thing is your data which type of data you want you have just put it here and top of this you put one your application called application like if i have java application that deploy your java applications and other things so these things it's take care by that uh, uh, what is that <clears throat> provider aws provider as provider Okay. AWS provider it's the responsible but these three things these three things it's responsible to responsible is the customer who is the responsible for that uh, the customer is the responsible okay okay customer customer response who is the responsible for these two services if the customer is responsible for this service if the like uh, for uh, aws is responsible provider not okay spelling mistakes okay provider who is the responsible for these services the provider is responsible okay uh, in that case the aws providing only network like they are providing hardware like uh, physical machine suppose we have a physical machine right in the physical machine we we have like hardware top of the hardware we install one hypervisor then hyper top of that hypervisor you can create a virtual machines right You are you are you you are creating a virtual machines. In the same case, in the top of this, you are creating a VMs here. In this case, just you are creating VMs. What is that you are creating? You are creating VMs. What is that VMs? But in the AWS, we call EC two. What is that EC two? ec2 this function and in the ec2 you deploy your operating system oya data if you creating virtual machine you should require a one operating system in the hardware you should install that operating systems same process you want to do here then use these things okay now next is so this is total about uh, what is that infrastructure as a service okay okay here you can take up an example suppose we have a uh, uh, like what is that mm -hmm. suppose if you want to make a uh, like one uh, dish in your uh, kitchen suppose that you're making a dish in a kitchen so you need a first vegetables right Suppose you are making a one uh, 
biryani suppose that you are taking making a biryani okay you need a chawal paneer okay all these things you need so go and buy in the outside of that uh, what is that market then come in to come in your, in your house then uh, put it in the uh, here Somewhere I don't know how to cook that, but I'm just taking that example. Now, all these things take care, caring of yourself. If you preparing a like biryani, right? So this is same like that. Okay, they are providing only hardware kind of thing. Hardware in the sense, it's the virtually hardware they are providing. Like how many GB of RAM you want, CPU you want, hard disk you want. Just give the request to that. AWS guy, AWS is providing to you and do whatever you want. Okay. So this is about infrastructure as a service. Like they are just providing infrastructures, infrastructures, not other than that. Okay. So same is okay. In the current page, okay. In the same page, <clears throat> we cannot remove that. Okay, it's okay, fine. Because we need to delete this. Customer is required. Okay. Library. Okay, I need to delete now. So, how to delete that object also? We don't know. Okay, one thing, one thing we can do. Otherwise, we just. Okay. Delete this and only take this. Okay. We have a platform as a service. Okay. This is nothing but a platform as a service. Here, uh, this time writing platform as a service. Okay, here we are writing. Hmm. Infrastructure as a service. So in the platform as a service, in the customer is responsible only for these parts. Simple. Customer is responsible for these parts only. Customer is responsible for deploying your application. Okay. Deploying your application. Customer is responsible. And AWS provider is providing these things. Who is the responsible for that? Like AWS AR provider is responsible. What is that? Provider is responsible. Like provider is responsible for that and here here is customer is responsible for these two parts only difference is there now they are providing all this thing here is example in the maggie 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 is uh, totally prepared now just buy buy bought from that uh, outsider like market then come into house then put into <laughs> that ball and uh, that bowl you can put on the gas and uh, cook in the within two or th three minutes. This is all these things is already prepared. Just put your masalas, then that all these things is prepared. So now just you deploy your application here. <clears throat> what is that? Deploy your applications and data which you have, this, which type of data you have, just deploy that applications and that. Choose that operating systems not required. They are providing. Just you said I need a uh, what is that? I need it the, like <clears throat> platform as a service like Elastic Beanstalk. In that here we have EC2. Here we have EC2. But inside this uh, like a uh, platform as a service we have uh, Elastic Beans Beans. Stop. Okay, elastic green stock. We can say, or like we can call EBT, elastic green stock, EBT. Right? So, this is 
about uh, what is that uh, what is that guys this is about your uh, platform as a service right so now here you can uh, take the example like azure at the time of starting azure uh, when i azure is uh, like start in the market come into the market so they are only providing like that this type of services but aws is coming into the market they are starting point of service is only infrastructure as a service after they are implementing the platform as a service software as a service correct so in that aws we are they are now in the market leader so they are providing all the services infrastructure as a service platform as a service software as a service okay so provider is uh, responsible for here only uh, uh the operating system is he only choiced and virtualization he chose a network and hardware and data centers okay they are only providing so when we use elastic beanstalk service in the aws it this service is providing platform as a service here you are not required to install operating system kind of thing just you put your application inside the service then application will work that's it here all these things i think it said to you guys so now i need to add one page okay so come to the next cut this so next is new page okay perfectly here this is we are talking about now we talk about uh, what is that uh, software as a service where <laughs> we are as a service so now software as a service means uh, no one is responsible to take her okay so now here it's still provider is responsible for all this thing provider is responsible for all these points no one is responsible for these things right no one is responsible for that provider itself is responsible just customer come suppose this is the customer came into that uh, uh, aws guy hey guy hey aws i want platform as a service like salesforce in the salesforce we have a service like that so we can say this is the platform as a as a service platform as a service we have okay what is that okay so now got it my point right so here the provider is all these things is responsible like creating a vms deploying your applications all these things the aws guy is doing okay you are not do anything that it now in other things other thing here infrastructure as a service you are the responsible more job opportunity is there inside the infrastructure as a service okay more job opportunity you can say now here and the i need i am just putting one point to you what is that point guys so in the aws aws is not having access for your ec2 instances like in such access aws does not does not does not having access access inside access sorry access inside your your instance now we are changing our word no okay so now this is the very good point suppose one hacker hack your application 
suppose one hacker hack your application now what you will do what you will do right now you are complaining who is the responsible for this now suppose in this here infrastructure as a service uh, hackers hack your applications right hacker hack your application here then who is the responsible where to go and complain so you need to complain on the yourself. Provider is not responsible. Provider is only providing these things. And this is the EC2 instance you are maintaining. So AWS guy only simply says, hey, hey customer, use our security services. Then I will take care of out your services, your EC2 instance. But you are not using my security services. Why they are implementing security service use it now so when your hacker hack your application and you should go and check by yourself okay that's why aws simply saying i am not accessing your virtual machines like ec2 instance okay so now we are changing a terminology virtual machine to ec2 ec2 is nothing but elastic compute what is that full form of that ec2 now, just I am telling EC2. Okay. Yeah. EC2. EC2 meaning elastic, full of form, elastic. EC2. Okay. Elastic. Tick. Compute. Cloud. Cloud. Easy to compute. Cloud. Right. Easy to compute cloud. This is the total full form we have. Easy to. Lot of people don't know what is that. Easy to. Okay. So now this is about our uh, topic uh, AWS. Uh, like service models. We have three type of service models. Okay. So who is the responsible when using infrastructure and the hacker hack your EC2? Elastic compute cloud. The uh, develop, uh, the customer is the responsible. No one is the responsible for that work. Right? So now we have a three things to do in the next sessions. What are the three things? First, what is the Ela what is that? Mm -hmm. What is that our guys so first we have features we can say this is the features okay elasticity elasticity city elasticity what is that elasticity elasticity number two number two is that scalability scalability number three High availability. High availability. There is these three things we gonna discuss in the next sessions. Okay. In the next session, we will discuss about these three in the details. What is this meaning? That's why AWS is more powerful by using elasticity, scalability, and high availability. What is this meaning of elasticity? I will give a real-time example to you. Scalability also and high availability also I will give that real-time. Or thank you for the supporting our channel, guys. Thank you. And we will meet next sessions. There we are going to discuss elasticity, elastic scalability and high availability. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I will share this note on my Facebook page. There you can collect it. Okay, thank you.